Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? I think I have a gift. And I think the gift came from me always as a kid playing and trying to run away to my own world. I found that somehow I could bring that into this world. Just getting out of that fighting and altogether sadness, I tried to find my own place in my mind where I could be happy. Something that stuck to me. I get uncomfortable when people try to get too close. I don't know how to be in anybody else's world than my own, because that's where I find myself. It's when I get to be in my own thoughts. People get uncomfortable being by themselves, but I love being by myself. I don't remember a lot of my childhood to be honest. There was a lot of drinking, a lot of arguing back then. And uh, eventually when I was born, that was when the family started to break down. I have three older sisters. I'm the youngest and only boy. We all had very different upbringings, me and my sisters. Um, and my sister got to see it in a different way the family activities, you know, meals together, going on trips together. I never got to do those things, like... I was born into the world when... when the arguing and the drinking was at the most. My parents, they did, uh, they did their jobs right, as they should, but... I was born into something that broke down. So it felt like something was taken away from me right from the start. When I was five years, my parents split up. That was about the time when I burnt my house down. Was it maybe a cry of help? I don't know. The drinking didn't stop. It was the same, and it was something I had to cope with and handle. I've seen a lot of um, abuse around me. Things have ruined, not their lives, but ruined things that could have been better. I think that imprinted feelings in me, which affected me. I think my way of handling feelings and fears changed because I felt fear in a stronger manner than other people. I think it affected me more than other kids. I was afraid of everything. It's all about that. It would have been easy for me to feel sorry for myself, to find excuses in everything that I wasn't privileged enough. This gave me more hunger and it gave me something of worth. It was a learning experience. I normally see fear as a wall, or like a dividing line. You can be on the wrong side of fear when you let fear stop you, rule you, when you are afraid. Because that's a state, you're a state of being afraid. I know a lot of people who are afraid and they don't go all the way, they find excuses, they find things to do instead which are comfortable, which are fun, but they regret them the next day, regret stuff all of their life, they're insecure, they push their insecurities on other people, they get stuck in things that are not real, projecting their own fears in 
everything because they don't have a real outlet and they just get anxious. At the end of the day, most of the fears we feel are illusions. Things we think are important, things we think are dangerous. Fear is just a concept of mind. You should use it and let it make you strong. And the nails pop Harder in the coffin light Come and beat again Oh, breathe again Whoa. I wanted to be stronger than the people around me. I saw a lot of, I won't say weakness, but a lot of mistakes. By running into my own world, I tried to create something that was unbeatable and... Your life is what you see, what you've heard and what you've experienced. It's all about how you choose to visualize stuff, how you let them affect you. When you feel that you are a victim or you victimize yourself, that's an illusion. That's a state of mind, you make that upon yourself. But the only thing that matters is what you make up in your mind. The turning point was when I actually promised myself to do this. It changed now, I remember it. Everything since that point has been different. It gives me direction, learns me to see what is correct, what is right, what are illusions, and it makes me be able to sort things out. Regardless how many belts I collect on the way, how many medals I get, or whatever. I don't want to be stuck in the mist, confused about what I want to do, because that's a feeling of anxiety, a feeling of devastation. Never let yourself be devastated by anything. You should always, in your mind, make something of worth of any problem that appears. And then you'll never lose. Because to lose is a concept of mind. There's no loss in life. that's all that is. It's all about not being stuck in the mud.